we grab telescopes, uh, mostly DIY homemade telescopes, and we set them on right here on this corner in Mount Pleasant. You might walk past DC's Mount Pleasant sidewalk astronomers on a random weeknight, gazing up into the unknown. This time of year, the moon, Saturn, even Neptune are all visible. The response has been overwhelmingly positive, to say the least. It has been absolutely incredible. Watching people come here and look through the telescope and they go, wow! <gasps> what am I looking at? That's my new friend, 19-year-old Gail Gomez. Yeah, that is so cool. About a year ago, he co-founded the Sidewalk Astronomers alongside his friend, Adam Green. I want Mount Pleasant to be the window to the universe from Washington, D.C. It's just the best neighborhood. During our walk around Mount Pleasant, Gail told me the inspiration for the Sidewalk Astronomers really took hold when, at just age 16, he met members of the National Capital Astronomers. Today, the NCA serves as a repository of knowledge his group relies on to do what they do in the community. It makes me feel joyful that I am able to bring the sky, the sky and the stars down to the sidewalk for everyone to enjoy. The Sidewalk Astronomers meets every month, right here at the intersection of Mount Pleasant and Irving Streets, and they've become locally famous because everyone's welcome. Yeah, it's the street sign. That's right. For Gail, it's not just about showing people the stars, planets, and nebulas thousands of light years away. He's just as passionate about educating people on the DIY mechanics as he is the stars. This is a parabolic mirror. Yeah. So it is geometrically perfect to focus all of the light onto a single point. He told me he spent three months building his hand ground mirror of his own Newtonian style telescope. My kids, it's really important to them to have them see people actually make things with their own hands and like explain to them how it works. And they're more engaged now than they have been all day doing a plethora of things, so it's yeah. pretty dope. The story of Gale and the sidewalk astronomers doesn't end here. There's an even deeper, more personal meaning to Gale that ties into his journey as a Venezuelan immigrant. I'll have more on that and a secret astrophotography alleyway in Mount Pleasant next week on Mad About Town. If someone were to encounter you all on the street, what would be the one thing that you hope that they take away from that experience? The fact that we are very special. <laughs> And we live in a very, very special planet. For now, in Mount Pleasant, Matt Koufax, WTOP News.